Hello everybody and welcome on today's video. Today I'd like to upgrade my uh, jade forest. Um, it has one, two, three, four, five, six jades in it. Uh, last one's kind of small. And I remember last year when I, um, uh, when I started this forest, I took some cuttings. Now it is quite interesting because here I uh, planted all these trees in a very uh, draining um, mix and uh, well it grew really well so I don't complain but um, the cuttings were planted, these are the cuttings, were planted in just regular pot ground which is so compost like uh, stuff and well they grew a whole lot better. So yes, um, it makes me think about um, substrate, about fertilizer and stuff like that. So I really should um, think about that a little more. Now, six is an, uh, an even number and it is not well seen to have an even number in a group planting. But, well, technically, I, I, I don't really care. Um, but since I have a few uh, better trees now, I think I'm going to plant a seventh one uh, right here, because there is some space here. And so I need to get out a little uh, soil here and make room for the new guy. And then I'll have to do some pruning to make these uh, trees look more like trees and not like little uh, succulents. Because, well, you see some of these lower branches, well, they don't add to the vision of a mature tree. So let's, let's start. So the way I see it, I have well, maybe two places where I can put a tree. So I have the spot here in the front, but it's nice to have a little um, place where nothing grows, uh, the so-called negative space. So yeah, I think I, I'm going to, to add the tree in the back. So I'm going to remove some of the soil here and I'll probably bump into some roots of the other ones. <coughs> I should check. And this whole thing is, yeah, okay, well, just opening up some room here, looks like it's uh, quite strong, the whole thing, a ensemble of trees so I can comb some of these roots out why not makes me think that maybe later in the season I could even get it up a little now these um, jades they don't really have good um, radial spreading roots but if you can do something why not so this is the the biggest cutting that I have uh, let's just have a look at the roots here maybe wash them out a little never really saw good radial roots on a jade but I guess it must be possible because, well, they have roots and... I'm going to wash this out. Wait a minute. So we all have a good, clear view on these things. So we have a really nice radial root pattern here. Except for this 
high roots which I can cut off and this one and I'm going to try to comb this out a little maybe just do a little spread even and I will make a little hill in the pot and place the tree on it now if I look at this tree the heaviest part I think I should put it on the outside and on the on the back put it here like so I'm going to add some soil now I hope it doesn't fall over that was a problem that I had last year when I did that these leaves are full of water very heavy and it makes it difficult to plant these trees so that they don't fall over but I think that's quite okay <coughs> yeah, not really maybe I should put a rock here just to keep it a little more in place for the first weeks and then it will grab itself wait a minute I'm going to get a rock okay well that's gonna be a whole lot better so let's now do some pruning I have to rearrange some of the soil here these jades are nice plants it's funny because you see he, here we have some little dents I think that the mice came up and they like the jades too they're edible so can't blame the mice okay so now let's do some pruning <coughs> I'm going to sit next to you okay so this is a very low branch in the in the front and it's hiding the trunk I'm going to remove that all these things will make very good cuttings but yeah, you know, there's a point where you must stop so here the same get rid of that yeah it's always sad to throw these things away so this tree now has a nice trunk um, I like the little branch here very big uh, secondary branch here but it's getting a little too high so I have a leaf here and a leaf here if I prune back up to here I'm gonna have a shoot there and a shoot there if I prune back to here I will have a shoot here and a shoot there so I must think about that um, I think I'm going to do this okay this is a really big leaf can do without it it opens up the structure same here just removing the top now this branch I did prune it and I must now choose it will this be the top or will this be the top I think if I choose this one it will bring the the, the mass of the tree more to the middle of the planting and I don't want that 
I think it's going to be much nicer to have an unbalance. So this will be the secondary and this will be the leader and just going to remove this huge leaf here and let the biggest part grow for a while. Then I have a branch here which can be reduced too. And there's a branch in the back that can be reduced. Same here. Like so. I think I got every branch on this tree now. There's just one in the back here that fills up some space, but let me see. It's this branch here, this one. Uh, I don't think it adds to the, to the tree, so I'm just going to remove it. So let's see. That's okay. I, I even think that I should reduce this one. Because it's already divided. And I have a little one here, which is much better. So, this tree the same. I must remove the lowest part, it doesn't add to the tree shape. And same here. Um, this one is acceptable, so I'm not sure, so I'm just going to wait a few minutes. This one can be removed. This is growing on the inside and this is a big leaf. And this is also a big leaf. Like so. No, I don't think I'm going to need that. This space has to be filled with something in the back. Um, I'm not sure about this one. If it were a little higher, I would leave it, but... Mm, no, let's remove it. And then remove some stuff in the top. And in the back. And I think that this looks like a tree now. Okay. So, this one, exactly the same. Branch in the front. Branch too low on the side. Branch eye poker inside this one is nice this is as a good height but then I may be better off by removing this leaf and this leaf top is okay this is a side back branch so can reduce that and that this is a burned leaf because this tree spent the whole winter inside and now that it's outside in the sun well there's no sun today but sometimes we have sun here in belgium happens yeah. okay so now the tree is in the back this is the back of the planting again some burned leaves they will not heal they will stay ugly forever
So this is the new guy, so I'm going to leave him. This is good. I have a branch here. So I, I need to find the top for one or one or the these two should be the top of this tree. So I don't know exactly. Um, well, this is the strongest. So I'll just remove this one. Let this one grow out a little. And here, this is the leader. So I'm going to remove that. And this one, well, that's a little one. So I'm not going to touch that. So let's have a look now. Another thing that you can do with jade trees is look where... Um, sometimes when a new branch sprouts, the old leaf is still there. So it does not add to the tree-like structure. So I'm going to have a look for some of these leaves. Like here you see, you have the... You, you had the leaf here. And you had a leaf here and there were buds and then these buds sprouted and you got two new branches so this leaf here is really not nice anymore and now this looks more like branching so i'm going to look for these things here again I have that same thing I'm going to show you so this is a branch now so this leaf should not be here this big leaf should not be here it's starting to look okay that big leaf is really very distracting I'm probably missing some but um, but I think I have it now probably going to find another one quite soon but not difficult to get it off yeah, I, I kind of like the, the new little tree here in the back. It's slightly on the, on the left side, so that's, I think that's good. And maybe in a month or two I can lift this up by one or two centimeter and I'll have the possibility to rake out the roots a little more and maybe make some of them visible. Yeah, just on this low little one, I'm just going to cut back these small leaves here. It's, it's really not nice to look at. Now it looks a little more like a tree. The same here. These are very low leaves. You want to see a trunk on a tree. Yeah, I think that's it. Well, I took a whole lot, lot off. See, that's quite a lot of potential cuttings. And, well, maybe I'll keep one or two. The longest one. So it's just a matter of getting some of the leaves off. And I'll plant them. And that's all it needs. So if I find a few big ones. Oh, it saddens me to get rid of that. But yeah. I mean, you cannot have a million trees. Well, you can, but... might get complicated then yeah 
Uh, even a, a single leaf will root. It's an amazing species. But I'm going to stop now. It's it's more than enough. Yeah. I'm quite happy with the result of uh, this short video. Um, I, I think that the seven trees in this pot are starting to look a little like a forest or a miniature group. Still not very happy about this pot, but I cannot put it in a too big pot because I need to find a spot to put it in the winter and that's that's a little problem. I already uh, said that I have cats that will eat everything that's trying to grow inside uh, except for uh, orchids. Strangely they don't eat the orchids. So we have orchids inside which are very beautiful plants. So well uh, nevertheless um, this uh, is what it looks like now. Maybe if this one doesn't start to grow well, I might replace him with one of the bigger ones that I have here. Um, so, well, yeah. Okay, let's do the 360 and finish this video. So yeah, that's, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.